feeling is. I'm now anxious, I'm angry, I'm upset with this client. Don't tell them that. Say it quietly to yourself, but acknowledge the emotion. Because once you acknowledge the emotion, you give yourself power back again. Because by not acknowledging the emotion, you're handing the keys to your emotional car to somebody else. And it's probably a 13-year-old that just inhaled like 12 pixie sticks. It's not gonna end well. Take a deep breath, acknowledge the, acknowledge the feeling, and engage that new response. Instead of, sure, yes, no problem, got it taken care of. Can we talk through this? Let's talk about what's going on, let me level set. Because when we say sure, without explaining that, they think we can make magic happen, which we can. We just don't want them to think that we always can. Because magic, like in every Disney movie, has its place. So engaging the new response allows you to separate your stress, allows you to separate the priority, and allows you to take control back of the conversation. Again, you are the expert. Because it's up to you which way you go. One of my favorite people in the entire world is Mel Robbins. I, I'm like a legit, and I'm gonna date myself. I remember when New Kids on the Block came out, or when y'all ran through the doors for Usher, people lost their minds, right? That's who I am to Mel Robbins. I, I would run in the door to see Mel Robbins. Mel Robbins had a great response when somebody asked her, do you ever get nervous before you speak? Sure, word keeps coming up. But what I do is I acknowledge the feeling. She said, I get my, my hands get clammy, I get nervous, my heart rate goes up, my anxiety goes through the roof, my pit sweat, all those things happen. But instead of saying, oh God, what's about to happen, handing over the keys to her emotional car, she retrained her response to say, when my body does this, I'm about to do something amazing. I'm about to step out on stage and I'm about to educate and help people as opposed to, oh God, what am I about to do? This is gonna be awful. I'm gonna be so stressed out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget everything that I said. She's retrained her response. And you could do the same thing. I also had an amazing mentor when I was a kid, a gentleman named Joe Amos. He was my football coach. And that was, for me, 100 pounds ago, which is a whole other conversation. But he taught me one of the most valuable lessons that he didn't realize at the time. He told me, always keep your feet shoulder width apart. This is where your balance, this is where your strength, this is where your agility, this is where your ability to withstand a shot comes from. Feet are too narrow, you're gonna get knocked down. You're gonna get knocked flat on your backside. Your feet are too wide, you've got a good base, you're strong, but you're not agile, you're not quick, you're not gonna be able, to, you're gonna have to take one step to get back to middle and then make a move. You're slow. How many times have we been vulnerable because we've been moving too fast and we've been knocked flat because we've not taken care of ourselves? That vulnerability becomes damaging. Or we've played it safe, we've closed up, we've gotten our, our feet too wide, and we're not able to move and be agile. That is where we're not able to move with what's happening, and we're always a step or two behind. By retraining your triggers, and they could be, they're gonna be personal to all of you, they're gonna be subjective to all of you, but by retraining those triggers, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. Because what I will say is this, this industry, on the whole, and y'all are a huge catalyst to this, has had our feet shoulder width apart. It doesn't seem like that. We've not been knocked down. We've been knocked off our base a little bit. We've stumbled to the side, but we're still here. And we're stronger than we've ever been because we have a foundation shoulder width apart, emotionally, mentally. And this is where we make the change for the future by taking back control over our emotions.